Hey Capricorns, how y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna be doing your second half of August general reading. We're gonna start off with some animal energy and then get right into the cards. Um, I gotta tell you, the meditation that I did for you guys, I was getting major Little Mermaid vibes. Um, I quite literally heard the opening number to The Little Mermaid, the musical. Um, and the image of a ship coming in and whales and dolphins and everything that's underneath the sea. I heard part of your world. It was very awesome. And then I saw the image of like a big clock and it hitting true noon. So I'm excited to see what comes up for you guys. It was very uh, powerful. I saw you guys just floating on the top of the ocean just like looking up into the sun. It was really, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Um, water feels important um, to take time to uh, be by the water, recharge by the water, drink water, all the waters. Uh, but let's see, let's <laughs> see what an animal energy is from the Capricorns. Okay. Well, you got a water animal here. <laughs> you got the crocodile. I love this so much. This is such a beautiful energy. Um, so crocodiles are about timing. <laughs> yes, they are. Very much about timing. Um, knowing when to wait and when to move. Crocodiles can chill in the marshes and be unseen and they only really make a movement. Now when they do move, it's quick and swift and you never see it coming, right? So they have a beautiful way of blending into their uh, natural environment. But when they move, it is quick and swift and absolute. They're only gonna jump on the prey when it's the right prey at the right time, right? They don't, um, they understand that the energy is uh, on limited reserve. And so they don't go out, you know, just in human terms, energetic terms, they don't go after every opportunity. They're really discerning about the right time to move on something and really seeing the opportunity for what it is. They're, they're you know, energetically speaking, um, it's about knowing the right time and the right offer, the right opportunity, right? It's not jumping at everything. It's not accepting every cup that's offered you. It's, it's showing discernment around that. But this is about timing and it's a water animal. Let's do it, Capricorns. <laughs> so um, I'm debuting a new deck here today. I just got that from Lilydale, which is a spiritualist community in upstate New York. It is my Disneyland, my Disney World, my... Fi okay. That is weird. I just got this deck, I've spent time with it, but I, I did not notice that. Do you see that clock how, oh my God, that's so crazy. Okay, it says uh, it's six o'clock, but I'm, I'm, it's like pointing at the 12, it's like true six, that is amazing. You know, also they showed me above the seat and below the seat. So, you know, the one, the small hand is pointing downwards and the big hand is, is pointing up, that's amazing to me. Anyway. Uh, I went to Lilydale and they sell a bunch of uh, wonderful spiritual tools and I got this new deck and this is the Alice in Wonderland deck and I'm really excited to debut it here. So let's see what is going on from a Capricorns. Let's see what's going on from a Capricorns for second half of August. But it feels like timing is really important in water, you know what I mean? Okay, what do we, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Do you remember when I told you in the meditation how I saw dolphins? Yes, <laughs> and it's at the ocean, stop, it's so good. Um, so we got the Four of Cups here. Whew. So the Four of Cups is some dissatisfaction, right? It's going, oh, not this, but that. Oh, it's not exactly the way I want it to look. It didn't come exactly when I wanted it to, but that. So this is the energy that's coming in from the past that may be affecting the now. Okay, being in this place of like, um, you know, the, okay, let's look at it this way. The Four of Cups is the grief process. The Five of Cups is the actual mourning. In order to get to the mourning, we have to pass through the grief first. So you may be in a place of grief over things or people, jobs, whatever have you, that have not worked out how you would have wanted. And then there's this beautiful dolphin in the background holding up this cup, like just look behind you. There is something even better for you, right? And this is also, you know, the, the key advice here too is to realize that expectations are limitations, right? This is beautiful. I love that that dolphin came up in the ocean. Gorge. Okay. Let's see what else is going on from a Capricorns. Yeah, a bunch of water vibes for sure. Ooh, brills. Isn't this amazing, Humpty Dumpty here? So we got the King of Swords here. Um, 
you know, this is interesting. The King of Swords energy is very absolute, right? Remember the swords rule the realm of communication and the mental sphere and truth. Uh, you know, the King of Swords is that kind of energy of, you know, the truth and nothing but the truth. So help you, God. And if you don't give it to me, you will feel my sword wrath, right? Uh, the Queen of Swords is a little, you know, more extra in that kind of energy. But, you know, the difference is too that I'm getting here is that the Queen of Swords um, is very much like off with their head, like out in the open. And the King of Swords is not necessarily going to tell you to your face, but your name is going to go on the execution list. I know that's a little dramatic, but there's this feeling here of... It feels like enough is enough. Let me say that a little differently. Because you could say it like a different way. Like, like, oh, enough is enough, right? But what I'm getting here is like, enough is enough. Enough with this. Bull. <laughs> is what I'm getting here. I, I do feel like you might have been um, living for other people or... Um, using up more of your time and energy for others' needs and wants and requirements of you and not necessarily giving enough time for yourself. And I feel like you're moving into an area where you're like, I need to make some edits and cuts and changes for my own sanity, for my own health, for my own new forward direction. Okay? It feels like there's this sweet release that wants to happen, right? There's a sweet release that wants to happen that's going to get you to floating above the ocean here, just chilling, right? But it does feel like there's some work that needs to be done to be cold from your energy to kind of get there. Let's see what else is going on for y'all. Um, I feel like some of you are going to be thinking about moving or switching homes or um, making edits or even additions to your home environment. There's something about the home environment here as well. I'm also hearing that um, what could really behoove you right now, you know, sometimes we're advised to like, really connect with our heart chakra and let our emotions kind of dictate, um, you know, where we go next, especially if you're, you know, more in air sign energy, you have a lot of air in your chart where you look at things logically first and let it filter it down to the feeling or the heart sphere. I'm hearing for you guys that the feelings and the emotionality of it aren't necessarily going to be entirely beneficial for you at this moment moving forward. It's time to kind of step into that King of Swords energy, be an air sign about it, and take the aerial view. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Then we got the Queen of Pentacles. How gorgeous is this? I absolutely love it. So the Queen of Pentacles um, has mastered one singular truth, that the more we are grateful for what we already have, the more we manifest to be grateful for. That's just how it is. And I'm also hearing the quote that um, gratitude is faith in action. Gratitude is faith in action. I feel like that's what you're being called to do right now. Now I do feel like there are some tough decisions, you know, uh, coming up here for you guys. I feel like there's an editing system that needs to take place. Um, uh, Involving people around you. It could even be your own patterns and behavioral systems. Um, some of you guys might be thinking about or being called to um, kind of end some cycles of dependency somehow, whether that's dependency on others or nicotine or caffeine or sugar. Something about is coming in uh, and really highlighting this editing system. It's calling you to be a king of swords about it with and for yourself, um, but also about people around you. And this is really beautiful here because I feel like you're going to get to the other side of it and just be like... I'm mad chilling because the queen of pentacles is a manifestation magnet. And I feel like that's where you're going to. Okay. And, and let's just look at this storyboard wise. This is, this is, look at all this. This is huge. Go from the four of cups to the king of swords, to the queen of pentacles, right? In that grief kind of, you know, oh, this didn't work out and let's redirect and let me reconnect with my joy. As shown by the doll, depicted by the dolphin there, getting to the King of Swords. I'm going to put me first and my own needs first, so that I can turn around and continue to help others. And then Queen of Pentacles, awesome. Everything that comes to me is going to be in my highest and best good because I am, you know, doing what's best for me. I'm hearing self care is huge for you guys right now. Self care. And also being the king of swords with yourself, like I said, where it's like, really look at yourself from that bird's eye view. What are you doing, you know, habitually or patterns or, you know, really take a second look at that. 
especially under the influence of the full moon in Aquarius, uh, which is happening tomorrow, uh, Thursday the 15th. It's going to be a gorgeous opportunity for that. Okay, uh, four of cups here. Let's get a clarifier. Soke, soke. So we got the king of pentacles here, your, your second card here. So, you know, the fact that the king of pentacles is clarifying the four of cups here, I feel like there is a lack, um, it's going to be different things for different people, but the first thing that I'm getting drawn to here um, is a call to align and cleanse your chakra system, right? From the root all the way up to the top to the crown. There's information or guidance or breath of fresh air that is available to you, but it feels like the systems are clogged. It feels like you could, there's a lot of going on or cooks in the kitchen. There's just a lot of stimulus, and it feels like you may not be putting yourself first um, at this time, and you're really being called to do so. Remember, we got to fill up our own cup before we can offer it to anybody else. The King of Pentacles is also very much about material abundance, feeling grounded and settled. So there could have been something job-related, relationship-related, um, whatever have you, that just didn't exact, something that maybe you even thought was a sure bet or a safe bet, didn't exactly work out or you got what you thought you wanted and it just didn't feel as good as you thought it would. And sometimes when that happens, we gotta ask ourselves, it's not that we were wrong. It's not that we were wrong, right, when that happens. It's just a lesson that we had to learn. And moving forward, you know, choices that come up or decisions that, you know, filter it through your heart chakra first because your heart chakra will never steer you wrong. You know, it's, it's the one organ, it's the, it's the one place that will never lie to us, right? Unlike the ego, when we get into our head, that's when we can kind of, um, you know, get steered a little off course here. So let's get a clarifier for this King of Swords. But a lot of boss energy, you've got two kings and a queen. A lot of boss energy it does feel like a lot of people are depending on you or dependent on you or go to you for a lot of their needs or desires and I feel like you're being called to kind of like reassess where you are in relationship to that. And remember, relationships should be reciprocal in nature. I hate to say should, but it's ideal if relationships are reciprocal in nature. Did I say that right? Yes. Make sure you, the relationships, these people that need things from you, uh, are they giving as, as much as you're giving them, right? Is it equal give and take? Now, you got four of cups again. To clear, it's the second time four of cups come up for you around king of swords. So I'm getting drawn to the mouse here. You know, the mouse is very much about paying attention to the finer points and details. Mice and rats can get in and out of places completely unseen that other animals can't get in and out of, right? It's kind of their strong suit. So you can absolutely call upon mouse energy to help you see the finer details around yourself. Are you where you want to be? Are you living in your truth? Are you fulfilling your soul's path and purpose? And if you are, if you are lucky enough to know what that is for you, and what do I mean by that? What do you do when you look up in five hours of past? What do you do that gets you into that vortex energy? If you are lucky enough to have already identified what that is, are you taking steps to manifest it in a more actualized and everyday way? You could also look at this as, and say like, you know, can you monetize what you love? Because we do have the pentacles here, right? <clears throat> this very much does feel like you, it feels like something that you are particularly good at like better at than most other people. What is that? What are you particularly skilled at, whether naturally or by school or whatever have you? You're being called, you know, especially to those healers that I'm talking to right now, um, anyone who, who is a healer or has that energy within them, even if you don't do it for work, being called to really heal yourself, look at what you do that does not serve you, look at what you do that does serve you magnify those things and release what it may be holding you back or clogging or clouding your energy. I'm really hearing that it's a time to give to yourself. Also, I'm hearing, because, you, because you've got the Ace of Cups here, to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Cups is great, great love, absolute love. It is also psychic ability, intuitive download, Aquarius full moon. I'm hearing that some of you may be coming from a place or you might have a tendency to look for that feeling of oneness, wholeness, and love through other people, through your interactions with other people, you know, uh, through a love relationship, through partnership, you're searching for partnership, you're searching for whatever it is. 
and it feels like you're being called, especially with the crocodile here, to just focus on you and chill so that when the right person or the right job or the right opportunity comes along, you can move on it. If you move at the, you know, wrong time, I don't like that word, but if you, if you move before, you know, the, the divine sends you this golden opportunity, because I do feel that here, right, then you're going to miss it when the right one comes along, right? I'm feeling a little bit of impatience here too, especially because you've got four of cups twice, but just focus on this queen of pentacles and this ace of cups. Remember, self-love, intuitive psychic abilities, and then, you know, gratitude being faith in action. This is all about you right now and everything that you can manifest towards you. Just remember, what is in your highest and best good will come towards you when you are a vibrational match to it. You don't, you will not have to go outside and look for it. Right? You're not going to have to, you know, be over here, you know, placing personal ads or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like looking for, you know, oh, oh who's my person? Where's this? No, it will come to you. But we, you got to get into a place of alignment and seeing yourself really clearly before you be, can become a vibrational, a, match, a vibrational match to what it is that you desire that is in your highest and best good. Okay? That's what I'm getting for y'all. It's coming. I, I saw it in your meditation. It's coming, but can you chill and float on top of the water and just enjoy being in the ocean, right, until it gets there? And then you can be the crocodile and jump on it, right? I'm getting a really funny image. There was um, a study done a long time ago. Uh, it was involving donuts. <laughs> and they did a study where they brought out, like, day-old donuts, and they told the, um, you know, the group that was doing the study... Um, hey, these are some day old donuts. We're going to have fresh ones coming in about, you know, an hour. Um, but if you want to take these, you can, you know, do this, but we'll have fresh ones in an hour. And the majority of the people chose to take the old donut instead of waiting for the new one. That just feels really pertinent. It just does. Um, let's go ahead and so patience, right? Divine timing. Let's, uh, this is a new deck too. Let's get a crystal oracle deck for you guys. That's what I'm feeling. Oh my God. Okay. Fabulous. Okay. So we got tiger's eye, which is so fabulous, by the way. Tiger's eye. I've got it right here. Tiger's eye. So tiger's eye. Are you envious of someone else's good fortune? Are others jealous of you? Replace jealousy with happiness for another's good fortune. Blessings are being received all around. Anyone can create the same blessings with true and pure intention. It's up to you, right? Blessings are being received all around. Anyone can create the same blessings with true and pure intention. It's up to you. I feel like that has a lot to do. You could take this literally if it resonates. Um, but Tiger's Eye is largely about being in your soul path career, releasing blockages around that, right? So then we have like the angel of goodwill little uh, saying here. I am sincerely happy for the blessings in the lives of others. It brings me great joy to see others experiencing happiness. I extend blessings and goodwill to all. I am grateful for other people's good fortune. You know, this could have something to do with the fact that Four of Cups came up here. You know what they say, comparison is the thief of joy, right? It could be also back to that idea of, you know, giving more than you're, you're getting. You know, I'm, I'm hearing the call to speak about this. When we overgive, it's a control issue. And it's a self-worth issue. When we overgive, and please trust that I could not speak on this if I could not directly relate to it, y'all. When we overgive, it's a control issue because we always wanna feel like we are worthy of what we get, right? What am I worth if I'm not giving, 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 giving? Right? It just feels very pertinent for you guys. Okay? And then when we overgive and we never get exactly, you know, back what we gave, that's like not on the other person. That's on us. Right? Just something to think about. I actually want to get one more for you guys. This is another uh, Oracle deck here. This is the Archangel Gabriel Oracle that I just got. I absolutely love it. But I just want to emphasize, you, there's some work here to be done, but you are heading towards a place of plenty and great love and great intuition, okay? And I do feel like, again, the full moon in Aquarius is going to be a 
especially right for you to really look at yourself clearly, right? And with discernment. All right, let's get the last oracle for my Capricorns. The dragon. All right, I'll get back to that. <laughs> Are you joking? Hi, allow yourself to receive. Remember when we are talking about overgiving? Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending you. Let me say that again for the seats in the back. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending to you. What more can I possibly say? When we give and we give and we give, right? And we overgive, right? That also doesn't leave us open to receive. We've got to be balanced around that. Equal give and take in all things. Also, there's a worthiness aspect of this as well, right? If we don't feel we're truly worthy at our soul's core, we can't receive, right? And or we can't appreciate, right, <laughs> the gifts and the hardships, right? Um, I was going to say something else. I feel like dragon came up for you recently. Um, the dragon is closely related to the crocodile, energetically speaking, because they drew my attention to this eye here. You know, the dragon is about seeing oneself and others clearly. It's also very much a shamanic a totem, which is about traveling um, to the lower world uh, for information and insight. That makes a lot of sense with the meditation I saw with delving beneath the deep blue sea. Um, I'm hearing to really look at your shadow side and do some shadow work around this as well. Right? We, we love to avoid our shadow side. It's not always pretty, right? But once we do it, it, it really um, unblocks our blessings. It really, 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 to take it from me. It really, 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 really does. And all you have to do to work on your shadow energy is to go into meditation and set the intention to do so. And then see what comes up, okay? All right, my beautiful Capricorns, this was your second half of August general reading. I so hope this helped and resonated with you. Um, if it didn't, it did. Please let me know in the comments below. I would just love that. And with that being said, just thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, just thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.